explore this. If the Seeking Explorer ends yet, presents to you ghost towns of North Island, New Zealand. Season 1, Episode 4, Season Finale. Previously on Ghost Towns of the North Island, New Zealand, Season 1, Episode 3, we visited the town of Materi. Hi Explorers, welcome back to the channel. The Forsaken Explorer here, and welcome back to Ghost Towns of the North Island, New Zealand. So, it's now all currently boarded up and has corrugated iron on the top. This is what Google Street View shows you as the current photo. And uh, it's currently not like that this time. Right, while we're on the way past, there's the old Foursquare logo there. Of when it was a Foursquare for this town. I believe that this is the location where they make the children's swings. Internationally, where Kim Kardashian purchases swings for her children from. And uh, yes, this is, these are the swings that they make here. Here's the door is opened on the church and wow this is an amazing beautiful looking church this is what a beautiful church and old organ look at the timber work very beautiful church colored glass and the religious artifacts and uh, this was the rugby grounds here there's sheep running around in there. There's a goal post and another goal post. We played rugby here. And over here to the right hand side. Over this way. That would have been the sports club building. We have this disused um, rail bridge. There's a gaps there. And we're approaching a tunnel that we're going to go and look at. And all these bricks were made in this town majority of all these tunnels. We'll head home and you guys have a good one. A second explorer over and out. Hi explorers and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Ghost Town North Island, New Zealand. And uh, this will be the season finale of season one. This will be episode four and we are at the town of Waikino. Ohinamuri, also known as Okarangahaki. It is an old gold mining district there is lots of gold mining sites, places, towns. We're going to visit the school, the Waikino School of Mines. Waikino School of Mines. We're also going to have a look at this Waikino Hotel here. Waikino Hotel. We're going to look at the Victoria Battery site. Victoria Battery site. And we're going to have a look at a disused railway tunnel that was used to get the gold in the mine here, the Karanga Hacky. Gold mining train tunnel that closed down in 1977. The Karanga Hacky train tunnel closed in 1977. I'm going to show you all these things here and the season finale. And uh, we'll get to the explorer and show you what we can. And welcome back to Ghost Town of North Island, New Zealand, season finale. Cheers, explorers. Waikino Hotel in Main Street, taken in 1887. So here's this beautiful old pub here, the Waikino Hotel. There's always been a pub here on site. This structure was shifted here and placed on the ashes of the original building that burnt down. The original building was constructed in 1885 and this one here was placed here from another town. It was moved here from Mackay Town in 1926, placed on the ashes of the original building. So we'll have a look. Here's a picture of the current structure that was placed here in 1926 after a fire. And here is the aerial shot of the town taken in the early 1900s. Here's an aerial shot from 1981 when the town flooded and caused grave damage. Right, so in 1981 there was a large flood here at this pub. The pub was quite badly damaged. You can see some of the flood damage here and um, the whole bottom floor was badly damaged and uh, caused the building to have a large upside down smile 
on the front of the building and uh, the trucks are empire made the piles drop and whatnot and they've recently renovated the whole bottom story and working on the top story for renovation to get it back to the state here and that will be pretty cool that opens in april 2021 and will create more jobs for within the town Cool. I wanted to show you a lot more of this Waikino Hotel, but it is long weekend and it's full of people inside who are very uncomfortable being on camera, so instead I gathered the photos I showed you earlier in the video and explained the history of the flooding and the damage that was caused in 1981, and also the historical site had burned down with this replacement building replaced in 1926. We will now head off to the next location, the Waikino School of Mines. Well, here we are, explorers. We're here at the Waikino Museum School of Mines. And uh, this museum here is was well, started up, or I should say School of Mines, right after the Thames School of Mines that followed to suit. And uh, Around 1885, it had between 40 and 70 students. One of the founders of the museum was a um, La surname Larnick from the Otago South Island, and could very well be, I'm uncertain, but uh, as I could only find the initials of my research, he could very well be the same Larnick from Larnick Castle, and uh, he was, in fact, a CEO at the time of the uh, why he gold mine company and um, yes there was also another site that was also in Thames that was also a school of mines and uh, I have featured a video here before this was just of the building now we're featuring a video of ghost towns. So people did in fact in the area here in the gold mining gold mining time do gold mining at this facility. They do have an outhouse here. So they are restoring the building. The front of the building at one point in time was actually crashed into by a drunk driver. And the front of the building had come off in my earlier video of coming to this location. It's been repaired, they've cleared the grounds. I do believe they are planning on restoring this site of the Waikino town. And there is just a lot of history here that I'm going to share and have shared with you in this building. The front here currently is propped up from where they have um, stabilised the front of the building where it did get knocked off by a truck driver. Probably driving home from the local pub that we visited a moment ago, the Waikino Hotel. Also, great history. So, um, it's all locked up, but I couldn't find an exact date on this building as to when it was constructed. But from what I could find, as in 1885, I had between 40 to 70 students after Mr. Larnick himself, William Larnick, started the um, School of Mines in Thames in the Waihe area. We will now head to the Victoria Batteries where they produce gold using the method of cyanide treatment. So this site here is part of the ghost towns in Waikino. This is the Victoria Batteries. Now these batteries here, they opened in 1896 and they produced gold using, they had big tanks on the roof structure up, up here on the top here. It was about three stories high. 
now these structures were basically like giant funnels there were 69 of them in total and they were it was a cyanide treatment plant it was the biggest one at the time biggest one in New Zealand one of the biggest ones in the world and they would actually um, break down the gold for other contractors around the the countryside using cyanide and uh, the cyanide treatment plant did tall you can see the funnels inside we'll take a walk inside and the process using cyanide was quite a good way to do so with making the gold some of you may know I've done a video here it wasn't a ghost town video I featured a few of these places within this video but this time round we're telling you about the history and what I've learned so uh, the, the the plant here was run by the Waihi Gold Mining Company, as I say, and you can see all the pipes down here where all the cyanide would run and they would extract cyanide and that you put, basically put their find of dirt and whatnot into the top of these funnels here and the cyanide would break down the dirt and what would remain would be gold. And in total, these funnels here there are, as I said a moment ago, 69 of them. And it was a great big process. And as I said, from 1896 until 1955, when it did cease to make gold and process from this area. Now, in this area where I'm standing, you've probably seen in some photos I've made put on the screen, that there was, in fact, a whole town situated and factories in this area. Here is an aerial shot of the Victoria Batteries site in town, taken in the 1930s. The structures here, the structure we just walked through itself, was in fact around three stories high in height. With a large structure on the top. There's also further structures along here, down here, whoops I pushed the wrong way on the gimbal, I'm learning to use a gimbal, so the controls for me are back with, to front like a helicopter, so excuse me for that, and uh, you will find there will be some loud noises here because there are people here for the holiday weekend and they're very noisy, so this used to be a, a separate river or stream that would help feed some of the gold mining here that went out into the Karangahaki Gorge. You can see lots of ruins of what they class as battery sites here and down in here parts of it there that would have been part of the treatment facilities for the gold. So if we venture this way here, here we have Morticia, our photographer, we venture this way here. I believe that there is a ventilation shaft hole in a solid brick wall to a kiln site. Now there was giant kilns, which is another way they used to mount down the process for the gold. And there were giant, basically funnels that were up above ground that in fact, um, they would burn down through the funnels to an underground passage and tunnel where they would extract the gold from another process up on the hill above us. We may check that out. Now I don't think this goes anywhere. One of these tunnels in fact, this, this in fact was part of one of the kilns here. You can see some of the metal remains. It's now closed and impassable but it was a ventilation shaft. I believe there might be more along this direction where we've got some active party goers making a whole lot of racket in the background of the video for you all. So at this stage we'll look around. So in fact there was factories and other buildings here up above this wall up here on the top of that wall. And in fact now 
there is the Victoria batteries there. And we'll take a wee walk around here. It is very warm summer's day. And uh, see what else we can show you. There's a lot to show you in this video. So we'll show you the better things, the better parts. So here we have here some further structures and some more structures over here in the distance under that tree there. From some of the town that was here for gold mining and uh, I'll make sure I pin up a photo of it and uh, there was obviously with the gold mining living uphill a pump house which I think this is the transfer and museum pump house site here and again we have more structures over here that were factories more pumps and cogs and stuff here of this existing town gold mining town now ghost town right so here we have an old pump house building it's one of the buildings of the gold mining town and uh, it's currently used as a museum I believe and again we have more ruins over here of uh, ghost towns if I can find it right over here we'll see what we can see around the outside of this building for you all So there's an old cart that they would have used on a tram line to push out gold and bear the carts in this direction over here. And this wonderful structure here of this pump house slash museum. So there we are guys, that's the process showing there of how this operated. In a kiln above ground and below ground into a cave into into a tram line. Here we go here. This is what the original structures of this town did look like in fact. The kilns are forgotten. So here we are. Again another place I've been to and I'm exploring as a ghost town. Down in here, this is a kiln oven that they would load into the ground and collect below ground. Here's a photo of the kiln ovens from below the ground. It's lots and lots of brickwork all around. You can see all around there. And also over this side, the other half of the, this large kiln oven. You see all the brickwork. There is in fact five of these. There's another one here. All the bricks are still well in place in the hole is down there for the kiln oven. Alright. So they all much look the same for the processes of the gold. And there are two more in this direction over here. Alright show you a ventilation shaft. Down here, very much overgrown, very hard to see down at this time. A ventilation shaft to the mine below. 
We know it clicked. Be a fine. That's right, before we leave, here's all the kiln ovens here. One and two. And three. Four over here. And over the back over there. You have five. All right. We won't focus on this on too much, guys, because we have been here before. So there we are, all kilns. This is a tour you can do on certain days, where a tour guide can tell you all the information about this place. And uh, we'll show you downstairs. That's why we're traveling downstairs here, explorers and Ghost Town Explorers. I well, hope you're enjoying this video so far of this ghost town of uh, Waikino, Karangahaki and uh, other surrounding towns. They all were one sort of pretty cool community back in the day. And uh, my camera sort of went off for a wander there. Sorry guys. Still getting used to using this gimbal. I'm not sure if it's assisting me in my camera work or not. But I'm getting used to. But uh, we'll get down to the bottom down here and uh, show you the bottom. Where the train or tram lines was underneath. So here we are guys. And girls and explorers. Here we have this oh, lovely and cool in here. So the phone will let us go in here with all its sensors. Here we are, we have one of the trams there. And uh, these are basic flash. And in here, there is kiln ovens that would load directly into these trams that would mount down uh, the process to gold by furnace and they'd cart them out of these trams here. Here is a picture of the loop track underneath, where on the right day you can go and get a tour, which is not today. And it, it does go on a loop, I'm just going to try and get our phone out of these bars. Doesn't seem to like going through the bars very much. And uh, let's see if we can turn our flashback off, because we don't need that anymore. We'll take you around here. To where the tunnel loops around and exits back out. And it is a hard hat sight and locked up tight. But the gate's almost fallen over. We won't go in there on video. Uh, that would just be wrong. This is the other side of the Kiln Tunnel. Very cool. Okay, moving on. Radio Ghost Town Explorers. This is the last of the ruins of buildings, although they are everywhere all around here. I didn't film all of them because there's a lot to see and I would not fit into my okay, day. Explorers, it's pretty hot. I got myself an ice cream and we're going to go look at a historic train tunnel that used to carry all the gold for the gold mines within the area. And the locomotive used to go through this train. So we'll get there and have a look. There you go. Here we are, explorers. We're about to enter the Krangahaki Gorge gold mining tunnel that came out of use in 1977 when the Kaimai Range Tunnel opened. And that was up used for here. And here's a useful sign for information. The locomotive here. This is the whole town when it was functioning as a gold mine when it had everything in the town where streets are all here with new housing and most of these buildings 90% of them are no longer here any longer. This is a new rail bridge Men that constructed it. 
over here, which is when a train was actually coming along this trunk line where we are, where I have just come from now, into the tunnel we are about to enter. So two men died while constructing this tunnel. And uh, I think I see something about there. Frederick, Frederick Shaw, Walter George. Tasmania H24 died as a result of the rock fall in this tunnel. 18th of October 1904. So here we are here. And to read a bit of history here, you are standing on an old railway line as Waiheko and a company's engineering needs grew. During the 1890s, a railway line was deemed essential by the bid mid 1900s the government practically financed the gold mine company had constructed on Pyro Waihe railway line on the 9th of November 1905 the Pyro Waihe line opened for all traffic it was closed when the Kaimai tunnel opened in 1978 let's have a look through this historical tunnel here and see what we can find it's a very long and very noisy tunnel because it's full of tourists and people and children so we might put you on a hyperspeed walk through the tunnel in the dark. Well, explorers, we are about halfway through this awesome tunnel at Krangahaki Gorge. Halfway this way and halfway in the other direction. It is a holiday weekend, it's full of people, it's noisy, it is rowdy. We're going to walk all the way through, but we're now going to carry on and we're going to take you to a train station near the stop, the next station along in the ghost town. Just in the current town, but all the old housing is gone, which is why I call it a ghost town. And all the old structures, and we're going to take you now on a on the train, Waikino, uh, Waikino train station into Waihe station, and back again. And then uh, see what else we can find you. Let's get the explorers. Cheers. Pretty cool walk, the brickwork in this tunnel. It's quite amazing all the bricks that would have gone into this. This tunnel, it's just under a kilometre long, it's 997 metres long. And uh, I will convert that for you overseas folk. We work in kilometres here in New Zealand. And uh, I'll show you coming up here a side tunnel. Which is why I come off the fast speed videoing so you can get a proper look at a side tunnel here where you could step in to get out of the way for a train, a locomotive in those days, a steam train. It's the warmest, hottest summer day in here today, but uh, not in this tunnel, I should say. It is so hot, in fact, in this tunnel, cold rather, that you almost need winter clothing. Uh, we had to go back to the vehicle and get changed briefly because it was basically um, I couldn't tell you the exact temperature I don't have a thermometer on me but it definitely has a winter feel about it until you get outside in the sunshine and we have some push bike approaching behind us here he goes It's unfortunate that some people have decided they will graffiti this beautiful historic tunnel. And there is some leaks in the sides of the tunnel. We are about to exit the tunnel now and we'll see all of you at the train station. They did have a steam train that they're operating there, but I did a call through to uh, check the timetable and they're only currently running a diesel electric train but I believe it's still quite cool and you'll see that when we get there 
Right, before we head to the train station, we will show you some structures here from this old gold mining town. Structures used for gold mining. From the bridge here, I saw some steps here that go into some sort of tunnel. I don't know how big, how long, what it is, where it goes. Go look, see what is in there. And it's blocked off. I believe this is probably a, a, another tram line that would have gone possibly to the um, Crown Mine or such place. Looks like it would have opened up quite a lot here. Does look rather impassable with large boulders and large structures above my head here. Um, So unfortunately, not much to see here, but certainly worth the walk in to have a look, to show you all. And here's a beautiful Karangahaki River. Okay. Okay, so we've arrived here at another structure here. This is the uh, structure here that we're about to explore, which currently doesn't exist. And uh, here, and this signboard is a bit dilapidated, but it, it's a crown battery. And they also had a crown mine, which um, I featured in another video. We were going to take you there today, but it's just too hot for hiking that far. And 30 plus degree temperature for the whole crew so we shall have a, a look at here here we are so hopefully we can just get out of the sun here enough to actually show you it is rather sunny I might need to try and here we are we'll see if we can get up there and show you this structure and I hope you can see it all clearly because at the moment there's so much sun I can't even see what I'm filming for you all all the concreting would have rust on timber back in those days no reinforcing of the steel yes it still stands today over a hundred years later. So 1893, we're now 2021. So looking at about 128 years since the structure was constructed and operated here as a gold mining town. Now ghost town. Stairs are rather collapsed these days. Look at this wall. 
over 100 years old. Would have been a retaining wall to house the structure that once stood here for the gold mining on the river here. Some sort of metal moving part here. I'm not sure exactly what is up here. Bit of a goat track here. Ah, oh, more structure. Long drop there. They're at the top of the Great Wall. Take our way down. That was pretty cool. I believe there's a couple other things we can show you in here and that is all the batteries and old structures from the gold mining town within this area what do we have back here I'll follow this goat track looking pathway Let's see what's in here another concrete structure from another building Another one at the rear of the here. Alright, made it to the top of this wall here. Now we'll climb down. Okay. Nice bush. Right, that's enough of looking at the battery sites. Let's go for a ride on the train that used to go through the Karangahaki Tunnel that we just had a look at. That's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, it's a pretty old train, and uh, it's currently a diesel. They do have a steam engine as well. We'll go and have a look. Cool. So this here is the train that you can take a train ride, and it will take you along the old gold mining railway from the tunnel that we just ventured to look at. We will take you for a ride shortly on this train when it departs. It's very beautiful and historical. And here's the old railway station here, which is now a cafe, Waikino. Here we go, explorers. We're riding the gold mining train. Side the main road here. Hardware on those doors. Passengers on the train today.
arrived at the station at the other end. But we're on a return ticket, so we must remain on the train. Why he? Episode 4 of Ghost Towns of the North Island, New Zealand. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour around of this old ghost town, gold mining town of Ohinamuri, also known as Karangahaki and Waikino areas. So do remember guys, do remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more ghost towns. And uh, these ghost town series, I don't have Patreons or anybody that sponsors me. I do this all out of my own pocket. So it may be a while before I can get some more done for you. I plan to do a trip to the South Island. So um, get a bit of cash together and do another series. But it's my hobby for you all to see. So yeah. And with that in mind, support the channel. Like I say, like and subscribe. And share and comment down below. I'm the Forsaken Explorer NZ. And that, this was Ghost Towns of the North Island Series Season 1. Cheers, Explorers. Over and out. Well, Explorers, that's the season finale of Ghost Towns of the North Island, New Zealand. I hope you enjoyed and watched all four episodes of the Ghost Towns of the North Island, New Zealand. Please do remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also, stick around and look at the awesome photography at the end, done by Morticia from Morticia's Lair Photography. We'll also put a link to a few of our friends' pages on the overlay for you all to check out. So check them all out, give them a like, and remember to subscribe if you like this stuff as well. Cheers guys, I'm the Forsaken Explorer, and that's all for today. Over and out.